My name is Tanya Curry, and this is the Acumen Media Annual Review. It's entitled, 2021 Be Gone, The Diary of a Media Monitor. I'm so done with 2021, and I know you are too. Be gone, 2021. Each year I write a review of all data we collect during the year. I read through them and put a timeline of events together as the diary of a media monitor. And this one is the most preposterous rewrite yet. You'll see what I mean in 2021 Be Gone. It all started with the death of Jackson and Tembu during the second wave. That was our opening. While our country was being hammered by COVID-19, Big Pharma held us ransom with vaccine apartheid. We learned many new words this year, most of them the Greek alphabet, Delta, Lambda, Omicron. We've been locked up, curfewed, sanitized, distanced, insurrected, and devastated. COVID-19 impacted every one of our lives in many different ways, and so did a mutant, so vicious, SA politics. The other thing that is so striking about this set of data is how often we have been betrayed how often our hopes were crushed, how patriotic we were, how tenacious we were, how little politics actually means to us, and how much politics means to politicians. Done with 2021. It feels like a lifetime ago that we still believed that Zondo would save us. Three years of of exceptional legal television drama amounted to nothing. I exaggerate. It amounted to a coup d'etat. But I'm getting ahead of myself. If you had asked me which story dominated the son of a gun 21, sadly, it's the same story that dominated years ago. Zuma, this time with a virus. So done with 21. Let's start with quarter one. In Jan, we not only loved Zondo, but we loved Ramaphosa for the most part. Our president told us under Zondo's watchful eye that if he was caught doing anything wrong, we wouldn't need 900 plus charges and 10 years to resolve it. That wasn't his game. What he left off saying is that he wasn't actually going to do anything at all. His game was nothing but an empty cardboard box. We learned of Zuma's secret service with the testimony of K and Y. We laughed at the obvious joke, but the truth is that those brave people dropped files straight into a gaping dustbin. They were another couple of Babita Decoran and Athol Williams. Hindsight can be so painful. 2021. Arthur Fraser was there right at the beginning of the year, the same time that Zuma was told in no uncertain terms to come to court. When Obaba disrespectfully declined it, ended up in, it ended up in Concord, the highest court in the land, where a former president wiped his butt without constitution. The constitution that many died for, the constitution that took decades of struggle and pain to write was labelled as optional. This came from the mouth of Mr. 10% himself, Ace Makhashule. How 2021 begun. Across the waters, Donny Trump left the White House and we were given the treasure of Bernie Saunders's mittens. I still love that story. February arrived pretty quickly and so did high tea as Malema kicked off a series of Zuma tea parties. Thieves drinking colonial tea with invitations shipped via Twitter. Yes, we bought that. 21, we were young. Clele cracked a nod to one of these soirees and shortly after that, Ramaphosa and the top six were told that they were not welcome at Nkanda. Imagine refusing a meeting with the president of your country. Unfathomable. So very 2021. AstraZeneca was an epic fail, resulting in Ramaphosa must fall trending. Look, guys, at least we didn't have to take the dodgy shots, right? The fact that we gave them to our neighbors and that Black Lives Matter is not why we are here, okay? At this time, our unemployment had hit 2 million and we were devastated. But 21 was not close to done. We thought this was cataclysmic, and yet today we have 47% 47 of our nation unemployed. That number grew tenfold. The government handed out 350 rand for a person to live on a month, and this ridiculous amount of money has become the benchmark for our hungry nation. We took the trouble, though, to introduce Quebec, the name that got far more press than it deserved, 
at least that pesky royal name is gone. Can Quebec uh, please get water and electricity with its new name? 21 run. Norma Gibagaba and Gigabyte Malusi played out their sordid divorce on government time and then one of the largest stories of the year hit headlines. Zwele Mkhezi was implicated in 82 million rands worth of tender fraud. People have died because of the story and since February of this year not a thing of consequence has happened to Mkhezi. We still have a thief and a bunch of dead body where, bodies where we once had a health minister. The story lasted all year. It was a particular favorite on ENCA, where meanwhile Steinhoff, the South African accounting version of Money Heist, resulted in nothing but a small fine to Yurster, and I don't think he even paid it. Noticing a trend yet? Still worried about him, Shalozi? Talking about gangsters, Zane Killian appeared at court with a T-shirt that read not guilty over the murder of Topcock Charles Kinnear. 21 red light, 21 be gone. Then this... The loss of my friend and powerhouse of a woman, Karima Brown. You're still so missed. The media lost its integrity since you left us. Peter Bruce described you as impossible and irreplaceable. Ironically, this happened around the first year anniversary of South Africa's first detected COVID-19 case. Always remember Karima. Can you believe I'm still on quarter one? Enter the annual and university rage. No, not that super spreader nonsense event, but Asini Mali, 2021's version of Fees Must Fall. His name was Mtokoziswe Mtumba. He was not even a student when three rubber bullets hit him, one in the head, one in the chest, one in the gut. He died in minutes and the police said he had a bad fall. The president said he would not fail the students. Truthfully, he had failed before he began. It was 2021 after all. VBS arrests mounted up. Malema and Ndlozi were too busy defending their fisticuffs with the security at Mama Winnie Mandela's funeral and shouting for CR17 bank statements. The rolling blackouts kept us in the dark and across the waters, Oprah's orchestrated soap opera unveiled Mixit 2021, be gone. King Goodwill's Velatini died, and to date, the royal household has not recovered. During the same time, Duduzani said he would be running for president. In the background, I saw Dali and Porfu tell, tell council and Praveen Gordon to shut up. Ah, oh, Praveen, the big disappointment. Within two short years, you made nothing but funny numbers. 21, we are not dumb, but quarter one is done. The next quarter, Americans watched Derek Chauvin stand on trial just like he stood on George Floyd's neck until he killed him. He was found guilty by the jury, but not really by America. Apart from Juneteenth, Juneteenth they don't seem to realize that black lives matter. I have no energy to explain it to them. They're too dumb in 2021. Back at home, those student protests started to look a little more like riots, and we were 100 days to elections. The temperature started to rise on the ground, and news media didn't report what we were experiencing in small towns across the country. Protests were making the towns unmanageable. Then a little louder, a little hotter, if you will, a little more 2021, Ace was backed into a corner, and hands off Ace Makhashule branded taxis were filling the streets carrying the ANC logo. It's here that the president had a different type of reshuffle, the South African National Defence Force. Hindsight is 2020, see? They knew, guys. They definitely knew. 21, we have been done. Tokyo Sukhwali turned out to be a joke, eh? So 2021. Making up numbers by chucking zeros like an a ANC bank balance gutting party. He said that an amount with 15 zeros was missing for education that Zuma had left for children. There were zeros. All of them. There were only zeros. Just zeros. He might as well have said he was having the couplets. Pfizer entered the SA market and SA took more loans than any loan shark should offer. Internationally, Meme heaven opened as the Suez Canal was blocked. 
Let's talk about heroes. Cape Fires was astonishing and harrowing for the residents. Gift of the Givers was instrumental in saving Cape Town and certainly most of our country this year. The level of contribution that they have made to our country, even in my small town, is enormous. Thank you, wonderful people. Green light, SA. Ramaphosa took the stand at State Capture Commission. We spent a shed load of cash we don't have on Cuban engineers. Are they still here, by the way? Be gone, 2021. In May, our uneasiness started to manifest. The bomb was dropped. Ace Makhashule got suspended and we celebrated. Little did we know what 21 had in store for us. We watched Lindani Mieni's funeral, the man who was killed by U.S. police for nothing at all. A horrific story that should have made world headlines like George Floyd. But it didn't because some lives matter. That's 2021. I'm trying to throw in some cheer as we go along this 21 trajectory. Remember Josh and Robbie? The two cash in transit guides went viral with a dash cam footage show that showed the two of the bravest men I've ever seen. One was the epitome of calm and the other was South Africa's Chuck Norris. They had to call Joshua Robbie and that call to Joshua Robbie is still a South African term for calling in the cavalry and after reading this report or listening to it, I think we need their numbers on speed dial, don't you? 21 is a lame game. And then during Ramadan and Eid, South Africa and the world entered the red line Palestine conversation. Israelis attacked Palestinians and displaced locals in Sheikh Jarrah. Who will ever forget Jacob's If I Don't Steal It, Someone Else Will video only in 2021. Sondo announced that time had run out for the commission as we ended the month of May. Did we run out of time, CJ? Or is it because of the failed Zoom arrest? We had by-elections and the EFF was finished. Can you even believe that? The now kingmakers of all major metros didn't win a single seat. 21, get out of my car. For the most part, South Africa has rolled up its sleeves and got the Jorva shot, Vax. Our gripe is not really the injection. It's been the lockdown paranoia. We've been locked down for almost 700 days and when we were told that it would be 21. Of course that number is 21. Lockdown too long. In level two, in the third wave, we hit stage four and the decuplets were not born. Only a South African can make sense of that sentence. Well, I say makes sense, you know what I mean. Nothing large, just the death of journalism as we know it. And why not? It is 2021. One story that really cheered us up and even had news media playing along. Ah, the irony. Jessica, we are live on the NBC sports anchors. Jessica strongly objected to what she thought was an off-air introduction. And her retort to her colleague was, no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to greet me and say, take it away. Jessica, if you're live, those words mean more to us than ever. 2021, take it away. The third wave showed us bodies piled up in Gauteng as Gauteng became a funeral pyre, literally. Charlotte McClurka burned to the ground, and who was to blame for that? I told you this report becomes more sinister as you reflect. Red light. Booze was banned and unbanned like a drunk censor. Oxygen ran out. Doctors had to make choices over who lived and who died. We kept our eye off the ball with the president's missing iPad. Casta Semenya couldn't compete in the Olympics, but transgender people could. There was a diamond rush in KZN. People scurried like ants with picks and shovels. There were only crystals. 21's fool's gold, if you will. Ronaldo tanked Coca-Cola shares with a three-second movement by replacing Coke bottles with agua. On quarter two, I'm so done with you. In July, we started with the eyes of the world on our legal system as the Zuma judgment, judgment was finally handed down by the highest court in the land. Obama was going to jail. Unbelievable, we thought. We were right. It was unbelievable. We were told by Andile Lungisa that he would shut down SA if Zuma did a fall. Let me check if he's on the list of witnesses at the SA Human Rights Commission today. Nah. When people tell you they're going to be an insurgent, just keep scrolling. Green light, so 21. Suddenly we're back into level four. I missed that announcement because I was on the beach smoking a cigarette. I don't drink or have any intention of leaving KZN, so I didn't care. That is my incredible reality, but it is not South Africa's. Natural next steps, 
obviously an anti-lockdown march. 21, so not fun. Zondo started to wind up the commission. He said the commission didn't interrogate all witnesses, but he felt that it made its point. Understatement, Uncle Ray Ray. We salute you nonetheless. 21, be gone. Eswatini was burning with a call for democracy and demand that the king step down. The horrors on their streets reminded us how things could be if you weren't South African. And there it was, the ultimate prize for SA. Obaba was going to jail. And Kandla, the palace of SA's most wanted, became a fortress as Zuma resisted arrest and at the 11th hour capitulated and 21 won for about 30 seconds. And then a trash load of legal paperwork and jargon resulted in Zuma not appearing in court at all. In fact, a little while later, he was back home. This time, the media didn't barricade in Kandla. We should have known we were being played, especially when the card-carrying EFF Dali and Porfu made a mockery of the justice system and took a wad of cash when all he bought was time. 21, just too strong. Here it is, my fellow South Africans, the horror of July, the historic time when we played so badly, where we were played so badly, our days, hours, minutes and seconds were consumed by a surreal, unbelievable, ridiculous and horrific horror movie. South Africa is burning. We watched as buildings, factories and key industrial businesses were burnt to the ground. The unrest was weird from the beginning. Although we understood the looting, we didn't understand the obliteration and we most certainly did not understand why the targets included manufacturing houses, ports and factories. The Molotov cocktails landed on the roofs with a little too well-timed precision and although something was off, we ran with it. We let the chaos envelop us and we crashed through the gushing volume of news and social media that seemed implausible and tore provinces to the ground. 21, burn it down. We stopped holding our breath for a minute when the army arrived, but we breathed. We breathed in when something much bigger arrived. Enter the key to each South African success story, Ubuntu. The realization that looting would bring only more poverty and that a feast today meant a famine tomorrow, SA rose and fought back. If I must accredit this miracle to one person, it would be in Tlantla Lux, a hero of such magnitude that he should be given keys to the country, not just to Jabala anymore. There were many heroes in our, our, our one week war, the unemployed cleaning the streets, sweeping up the remains of South Africa. 2021 be gone. Ramaphosa came out and called it what it was, what we all know it was, an insurrection, a coup d'etat. His head of military didn't agree with him then and doesn't agree with him now. Mapisa and Gakula, so 2021. Ordinary South Africans were going through a transformation, though. We learned very quickly how to barricade and protect ourselves and our neighbours. ShopRite turned canola oil into a very effective anti-looter mechanism. We also learned that people can forward unverified voice notes and misinformation faster than you can bankrupt SAA. We watched people die. Phoenix Massacre will have you believe it was a race war, but it was a war on South Africa, and the 500 bodies were collateral damage in the Zuma insurgency plot. So who was arrested for this insurrection? who were identified as the instigators. Well, a badly engineered report called it bots, computer pushing tweets. At Acumen Media, though, we proved exactly who it was. The short story is the Zuma twins, Sapiti PT evaluator and Mchunu. You may add Andile Lungsta to that list as well. Who worked under them is irrelevant. To design his message was clear. Loot responsibly yet we cannot find a single insurgent among us. That's because we've been here before, haven't we? 21, Attila the Hun. Headlong into August, we anticipated a huge cabinet reshuffle because this country showed its leader exactly who we were and where we stand. We will not tolerate anyone dividing us. And you'd think that this point that this point would be when the superhero of a president would cull his infested cabinet and we would defend him in, in the consequence, but no. Instead, Mkhize resigned and Tito left the building, done with 21. And as if that wasn't painful enough, we broke our hearts when Connie Ferguson spoke at the gut-wrenching funeral of Shona Ferguson. Tatiana Tatiana brought us gold, though, and we were grateful. Transnet was hacked, 
Are you listening? Ramaphosa took the standard state capture and we remembered Marikana. Susan Fosler made us laugh at second guessing vaccines. But now, and by now, seven out of ten of our educated youth are unemployed. And in fact, they have never worked. It is so bad that even Ubaba had asked for crowdfunding through his Capitec account. The country lost respect for its president after it was announced that Zuma was about to be released on medical parole at the hands of his good mate, Arthur Fraser, and our president wished Jay-Z well. Babita Dekarid was gunned down outside her home in what can only be described as an assassination, and the digital vibe story got scarier. Quarter three, please set us free. I'm on the home stretch, guys. In our last quarter, South Africa didn't know who to vote for, and after the winter of our discontent with a severe dose of PTSD, South Africa de- gave democracy the mig- middle finger. We voted nota, none of the above or not at all. Herman Mashaba poured over social media and made a big impact in a short period, in a small space. An impact, though, it can be done. You don't have to carry the xenophobic, put South Africans first to make an impact, though. Let's make this election story short because, like you, I want to be done with 2021. The ANC lost. The nation spoke louder than an insurgent on Twitter, but they ignored us too. Chaos ensued as we became coalition country. The EFF played a MasterCard, not a VBS card, and Julius is a genius. That's not necessarily a good thing. He is so smart, though. Not a single seat in the by-election and a very little progress in the local government elections, but he managed to kick the ANC out of their old tired chair with the biggest insult of all, give it to Zilla. Man, am I done 2021. There was only one story to save us, to restore our sanity for a few hours, six hours to be exact, Facebook down, and Twitter's response of hello, literally everyone, is my personal story of the year, because it was the first time that Twitter became a nice place and Zooks didn't own the world. He also was done with 21 after the whistleblower dropped files he took to sailing. Today, his platform, Meta, not better, uh, sells virtual yachts for six, $600,000. Go sail in 21. You're going to ask me if there's a bigger story than the insurrection, Zoom and COVID-19 this year. And the answer is yes and no. There's one consistent bad story. It's been here for a while and sadly it's not going anywhere. That defunct cesspit called Eskom How and how we've been derated. The economical damage done by a powerless electricity generating company is insurmountable. All Eskom has become is a place to wash money and leave. Eskom is never done 2021. We've met some super villains this year and we've seen horror stories about women and children getting battered at rape. There's no time for me to write all those names. Isn't that awful? The president said men have to take a pledge not to rape. So instead I have to tell you about Rosemary and Glovu, the female serial killer that murdered at least six people, relatives and friends, for insurance fraud. Red light, 21. Then Gareth Cliff happened. Please don't vomit. You've been through so much. Just hold on. 21 will be gone. Gareth failed to host a talk show and the only thing he is good at. He showed himself to be both misogynistic and racist. Stian Hazen's smirk will live with us forever. The Marty brothers were returned by their kidnappers just after pallets of cocaine were stolen from under the hawks' noses. The last apartheid president died. We are in the fourth wave and we are fast becoming an anti-vaxxer nation. Shell has taken over the wild coast to create hell, so they might as well, it's so 2021, to hell with Shell. Didi Mambuza gave SA's medical industry a poor review as he apparently had to fly to Russia to get better. You mean to make Putin feel better, don't you? There is no shame in this 2021 game, so many other people to blame. And as I wrap up the year with the Omicron variant lurking across the landscape, I'd like to part with this. Please don't wish me happy anything that contains a number. We aren't doing any combinations of happy and a number. Okay, we don't talk about the year and numbers anymore. I'm so done with 21. It's time for me to have some fun. (coughs) If you are traveling, excuse me. Or if you're simply sleeping through the holidays, do so with grace and kindness. Give something small to someone who needs it. Give something big if you are able. 
We all need a little help and kindness as we cheer on and off to 2021. My name is Tonya Curry, and you have scratched the surface with Acumen Media over the past year.